Hi everybody, it's Anna Larai with Sparkles of Love and today I wanted to talk to you about how you create your own life and many of us at different times in our life have been disappointed with the way things turned out. Maybe a relationship, maybe our home, monies, jobs, health. There's so many things that didn't go the way you wanted them to. But when you step back and take a look at it from a vibrational standpoint, it is easier to see and to understand what you need to do differently. And um, this information, there's so much out there about this and a great group to follow is Abraham Hicks. Uh, the alchemy talk a little bit about it sometimes, but basically I just want to give you a few pointers today. So you want to take a look at your life about your own, what's what I call self-talk, that voice in your head all the time, how you're always having conversations with yourself and sometimes they're out loud, but you want to look at how do you feel about things? So do you feel you're always in lack? So are you always looking, and money's a good example because it, um, is an easy one for most people. Do you always feel like you don't have enough money in your wallet or enough money in the bank or enough money to pay your bills or do what you want? And if you're always concerned about that, that means energetically you're tuning into the lack. You're tuning into the lack of abundance, lack of money, not enough energy. And that energy as an energy in itself is a really low vibration. When you look at your, on the flip side, when you look at your bank account or you open your wallet or you go and you buy the expensive item in the store that you wanted, when you look at that and you move into the state of gratitude or thankfulness with that, like, look at how much I have, I can do this today, then you're moving into a higher state of energy. And in that higher state, you're not coming from the place of lack. You're coming from, look how much I have. I feel so blessed. I'm so grateful. And when you send that energy out into the universe, what happens is the universe hears and the universe has no judgment. There is no judgment on what your thoughts are. They're just your thoughts. They're just energy. And so what happens is the more you move into that gratitude and feeling blessed and thankful for what's in your bank account, it's not about what the number is, just that there's that, that there is a number the more the universe brings to and brings forward. And so when you look at abundance, sometimes it shows up in different ways. I was having a good discussion around this with someone last weekend, and sometimes it comes up in discounts. It comes up in coupons. It comes up in gifts that people give you or opportunities that you get. It's not always in cash in hand. But when you look at it from a energetic standpoint, it's really easy to get locked into the, oh no, I've lost everything, I can't, I can't make my bills. And I know that on the human side, that's really hard to overcome those energies. But if you can find something in your life to focus on where you're grateful or uh, a piece of your bank account or something you can always pay, then it allows you to bring in those other energies. And the more that you can move into happiness and joy and peace about any part of your life or all of your life, the more that that energy, those higher frequencies, that abundance can come forward, the less you become in lack. And so when you're creating your life, and it's the same thing with relationships, it's the same thing with jobs. So rather than thinking about, I don't like my job, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like my boss, I don't like this. Again, that is energy of lack. That is a negative vibration, so to speak, or a lower vibration. So when you're wanting a new job, you want to start visualizing and feeling and creating what do you do want? And it shouldn't say, well, I don't want a grouchy boss. It should always be positive. So I want a, comp uh, a boss who's a great listener. I want to have friendly colleagues. I want to have stimulating work. I want to have 
a pay that I feel values me. I want to have a minimum of a thousand dollars a month to, to live my life after my bills are paid. I want to have a job where I can be creative or I want to have a job where I have Tuesdays off. So you're creating from a space of what you want rather than what you don't want. Okay, so you can use these examples throughout your life and take a little time now or today or tomorrow and review where in your life, where do you always complain about? Where do you feel in lack? Where do you feel not enough in your life? And change the energy around it. Change your words, your thoughts, your actions, and allow the energy to be more positive, more of what you want so that you can call that forth. Okay, so I hope that helps and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.